this video, I'm going to show you how to remove the iPhone 5S screen. First, you need to turn off the phone. And you need to take out the two screws at the bottom of the phone using a pentalock screwdriver. Next, we're going to need to use a suction cup. So we place the suction cup right just above the home key. So just place and push it down. And then we're going to need to be careful and pull out the screen slowly. You don't want to pull it all the way up as there is a uh, ribbon cable attached to the home key. If you pull it all the way out, you're going to snap it. Be careful when you do this. You might cut the ribbon cables in the in the middle. So don't go all the way in too far. Just try to pry it out from the edge of the screen. Now as you pull out, try to do it slowly. And I'm going to show you there is a uh, ribbon cable attached to the home key so just be careful as you uh, there it is it's right there so just be careful that you don't break the cables otherwise you have to buy another one and um, it is important that you don't break the cables as uh, this cable is very unique to the phone it's providing a um, touch ID so we need to pr uh, detach the cables so pry out this metal uh, clip so once you pry it out, you can move the screen upwards. From here, you need to remove the four screws of, of the metal plate. So there is one on each corner of the plate. So we need to remove four of them. Make sure that you uh, remember the screws. They have a different size. So make sure you, um, when you put it back, you put back the right screws. So they are not all the same size. Just be careful. Take note of the screw size. So we move the metal plate. And now we need to remove the three clips. So there's one right there. And there's another one just below it. Then we're going to need to remove another one as well on top of this one. So we need to detach this one first. Now there's another one just above that. So this is the last one. So once you have removed the three cables, the string is detached. 